Good Monday morning and welcome to another episode of Coding in AL and today we are going to look at upgrading reports from uh, Business Central the Cal uh, local Cal from Cal to AL I'm just responding to a request from one subscriber I can't really pronounce his name because it's in Russian I don't understand this language i believe it's in russian uh hi i hope you're doing well is it possible if it's possible it would be nice to see uh, how to upgrade navigation reports including processing only to be seen in detail how to read what is going on in navigation code functionally debugging and how to re-implement it mm, okay the second request not so clear but the first one uh, to upgrade reports from the uh, from navigation reports these are navigation reports uh, this is the classic development environment the old client so we want to, to upgrade from revision reports to uh, business central so we find a processing only report uh, we can use a, okay we'll start with a, just a normal report uh, let me go to the most obvious something like sales code or vendor list let me check okay purchase invoice 406 report number 406 okay there's a video I recorded about converting objects from text to al so for more details about uh, the conversion you can look at that video but we'll just briefly do that conversion again hey, Okay, we'll briefly do the conversion again from text to AL. So here is the command that we're using, the fin SQL from the uh, business central client. You just go to the role tailored client and uh, your CMD, as I have gone here, you make sure that you CD to this uh, location. So for me, I'm using the version 14. And then after you have done that, you will just... Uh, the next step would be to uh, get the file location. Let me copy this command. Do I remember the report? <coughs> the report ID. I almost forgot it. Forgotten it. Okay. Here is the command. We say the command is export to new syntax from FinSQL. FinSQL is the, the development environment. This is the executable that opens the development environment. If we try and do this, let me just show you. Uh, come on. If we try and execute directly, we'll see that it opens the development environment as we can see. So. So let's go to converting. Uh, let me just close this development environment. It seems to be opening a database, a database that is not uh, compatible. So, okay, here is the command. Let me just paste it again. Oh, come on a bit slow let me paste the command that i've copied so command is export to new syntax and then the file is the location of the file where the exported object should go to and uh, i have another command prompt here i would like to make a directory for tutorial uh, and then we can go to the directory tutorial and then from here now this is the location where we want our object to be con to be sent to it's under d tutorial and then we'll now call it p invoice okay purchase invoice purchase inv it's under d and then you're talking of d how do you put a directory come on d and then tutorial 
then p inv purchase purchase invoice dot txt then we have specified the db to be version 14 on the other side this is 13 and version 14 has the bc here instead of nav so be careful uh, the db for 13 had nav for 14 that's when they changed the name and my server is not nav demo it is the default so i'm using dot to mean that i'm using the default server then my type of my the type of my export is for a report of id where is that id they yeah, forgot niche purchase invoice to the purchase invoice purchase invoice knows no purchase invoice four six four hundred and six so we have our text created so we can view this directory and uh, find that the uh, uh, there is a file in the tutorial one file of 482 bytes this is purchase invoice.txt so we have converted and we have this uh, file so the next step is to get uh, this file to convert it to a l and we still use the same command uh, okay not this one we use now text to a l the text to a l command here it is, so we'll just copy up to type, I believe is enough. Uh, yeah, I think up to there we, we don't need all the other options in our small conversion. Where is it? So, okay, I'll just close all this. I have to delete step by step, come on let me wait and finish then still make sure that you are still on the role tailored client because this is where the text to l tool is also located and the source here is a directory where we had i will say the source is tutorial source will be oh you don't put i believe in this command you don't put space you just say source then d and then backslash to tutorial that's enough as well i want to retain the target to be that to be the d tutorial then we rename them we say the type we will be it will be report okay so it has written this file the l file and the rdlc report definition language client so there are zero errors so it is a successful write <laughs> come on then i need to go to i want to view the directory to see just confirm that everything is okay in this so you need to have three files the translation okay there is this uh, rdlc file and then there is uh, the purchase invoice and then the um the al file and then the translation file so all the files have been converted now we are good to go we can now go to a visual studio uh, code okay i need to open i need to open the tutorial file here it is uh, the d tutorial so we need to copy okay for now I, I want to copy the translation but the two the purchase invoice the l file and the rdlc file and then i'll copy them to the reports here under visual studio code come on they're not being copied they're not copyable i pick them again and then right click copy then move them to this file here then paste not active i can go to the file explorer and then just paste them from here no big deal so that is where my 
file is located and uh, and I have the files the two files the RDLC and then the report so the report is detecting that of course this number our series was 51 I think 100 should have a free and then the name is also existing in the main client and then it is looking for the layout and uh, the dot and then the home and then it's looking for home and then this path but we our file is under report rdlc but you know we we need to use the report definition language not this client version so the rdl and uh, the fix that i usually use is rename my file to rdl from rdlc this file then i think we'll be good to go in terms of having converted our reports because now when you right click and you open externally as long as you have the microsoft report builder installed if you don't have the microsoft report builder installed please install it and then you can see now the file is here it has been in exported to the al and we have our uh, report report builder <laughs> okay we have our um, our file in the report builder i think that's it for this video because the processing only uh, report if it's a processing only the only difference is that you won't have this rdlc file while you do the conversion i think that will be an assignment go and pick one processing only file and convert it and you'll see if you have that rdlc file and one of the example is um, calc and post vat settlement uh, report number 20 i believe it should be a processing only uh, report is it processing only oh no it's not let me get another one i believe the calculation reports most of them sh they should be calculate inventory is it a processing yeah this one should be a processing only report you see there is no even field for the uh, view so you can use this report number um, uh, 790 try and uh, convert it to from this uh, cal to al and you'll see that uh, you'll be having the r dlc report definition language converted for you so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one